So today we're looking at the big one. What is really going on with China's economy? Uh, Jerry, perhaps you could tell us in a word, is China going to collapse? No. <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. You heard it here first. Tune in next week. For more you asked for a word. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> OK, I was only joking. All right. Then. What about you, then, Fernando? Fernando, can you help us to understand this? Uh, sure, sure, I can. There are several aspects to this. Uh, a recent interview that I saw with Professor Warwick Powell explained different aspects of this spending collapse. So let's talk about them as a whole. And then during the show, we'll talk about them individually. Number one is the Chinese economy, which is burdened by wasteful investment in unused infrastructure. This manifests itself as go cities, trains that are not profitable, or even some say saturation of infrastructure. So there's actually nothing left to invest in here in China. Another argument is the overcapacity of manufacturing, uh, households that don't consume enough and deflation on top of that. Furthermore, there's a property development industry that's collapsing on its own. And then the share market that has people pooling the money out in huge amounts. But that's not the last one. There's also youth unemployment that is raised also by the West as one of the issues and also an aging population problem. Now, the thing that we need to understand that we want to present to you today and explain one by one is that each of these is a challenge. There's no doubt about that. Some are quite serious, but the truth is that none of them individually or even collectively represents a crisis. 